rob chunks of this movie. You just walk away with it. And so much of it is because you're great with the kids. Oh, thanks. And it's a very real dad situation. Like, I, I completely related. Yeah. Oh, man, thanks. Yeah, this is... You know, I worked with really terrific young actors on this movie. The four kids uh, who play Brett's kids in this movie were, like, like eerily good <laughs> at acting. This little girl, Erin, was like... <laughs> Such a star! I could not believe how good she was. Really, like, she oh, she took direction. Every take was a little different. She added little nuances here and there. She was so good. She's just gonna be a little boss. You watch this gal's. Good. Her name is gonna be in lights. I promise you. Um, and yeah, you know, there's this. This movie is really made to be that way. I mean, um, if you ever see the original Starbuck, it's the same thing with the guy who plays the character of Brett in, in that movie. He just has really charming, great moments that are uh, that make you feel something for him, but also make you just like pull your hair out and also make you laugh a little bit at this guy who should, for all intents and purposes, be pretty unlikable because of the things he says about his kids right in front of them. But, that's it. but any parent knows those are the things you really say. Because yeah. as a parent, you love them. So yeah. there's the baseline of love, and then you can say the things on top. Yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. I think Brett is an example of, of the most important thing you can do as a father is be there. Yes. And he is. He's yeah. there. And so he might, it might not look pretty. It might not be out of all the baby-raising guides, but he's there. His presence is there, and his kids know that he loves them, and that's what's important. Man, it is a dizzying year. I saw her recently, which I thought was astounding. Oh, and yeah. I, and I think, you know, it's, it's a great role. You get to be a, a lovely sounding board for Joaquin in that film. Yes. Um, I thought the Parks London episode was tremendous. Thank you. Um, and just the fact that you got to play with Peter Serafinowicz. Oh, man. Dude, that guy's the best. What a brain. Oh, my God. What a weird brain. What a weird brain. Peter yeah. Serafinowicz is awesome. I had I had never met him before or, or you know, I became a fan by meeting... Well, it's not true because he's in Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. so we'd work together there, but I'd never really gotten to work with him uh, until Parks and Rec and... and uh, Man, he's just he's just great. He's so smart and so funny. I just, I really love him. Well, and then I was saying this to you right before the cameras rolled, but I feel like having seen a little bit more of Guardians than the public has, I feel like there's this big secret that you guys have right now that you're sitting on and you have to kind of wait patiently for for next year. That feeling for you, because um, you guys seemed really happy with what you did, is that an excitement of you know what's in the Christmas box and you just want to give it to the public soon? You know, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, that's exa that's a great analogy. I do. I know what's in the box. I can't wait for the public to open it, and I'm really hoping that they like it. Yeah. I have a feeling it's like you you found this gift. You're like, yeah, you've been listening all year long. That's you're like, great. You mentioned it once. Yeah. Uh, let's now see if I'm remember. ready. <laughs> but if you open up and don't like it, I might kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. At least pretend. I can't afford you. To <laughs> Breaking entertainment news and more. Follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.